Right, good morning everybody. Probably about afternoon now. Don't know what time it is, but hello to you anyway. Hope you're all well. Bit of a funny old day today. Had a lot of wind last night and rain. And we're just going to head off into town, a bit of a bike ride. So, welcome to another video. Yes, yeah, so I'm just testing out this lav mic I've got on to try and get better audio and to stop all that horrible wind noise. It's like so bloody annoying. River looks a bit puddy. Shit. Full tide by the look of it. And there's people everywhere on the walkway. Trying to get through the everyday stuck at home life that we have at the moment. <coughs> That's a hard hill, that one. Yeah, we've got a bit of drizzle at the moment. in for a couple of bad days of weather and I've got a tail wind or a side wind but more of a tail so I probably have a head wind going going home Right, and here we go, we're just coming up to the amphitheatre, just gone past the camping ground just now, on your right. Oh, nice here. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so I hope you guys are well, enjoying this lockdown. Spend time with your family and yeah, on the right there on the ground there is your miniature railway track. It just runs around a hill and here on the right. Got a little uh, tunnel goes through, 
very popular thing for little kids to do on a Sunday. I think in every first Sunday of the month. But we'll change gear a bit here. And it's starting to spit a bit harder now. Hopefully my tape on my camera will keep that water out. go this way let's see how new all is across the road oh, got no queues in there look isn't that good <laughs> you're tooting that dude he's new world see and no queues in there oh. Just a little bit more now. I'm glad I taped up that camera. I just go through town here and get out of the rain a little bit. That's better. But it's a good day to be out anyway. A bit of fitness. Just through town here and we'll turn down the alleyway here and we'll head back along the riverfront. That's the old waddy fuddy. <coughs> I think the rain's um, passed over, so a little drizzle. We can continue our little bike ride. And cross that centre line. Got you on camera. <laughs> oh, these fellas will come from. Look at these people. And we'll go on the road this time. It's nice here. Tuck behind these buildings here and that mountain over there. <coughs> Tuck behind the...
past the White Island boats on the left. Those boats haven't been out since the eruption about December the 15th or something like that. Yeah, we might go to the heads we'll check it out see what's happening down there Oh man, it's so nice being out here. A bit of fresh air. Since you can't go for a fish or anything. Look at that water, it looks beautiful. Can't get any water crates, can't get any oysters. Not sure what you guys think, but. I think this lockdown might go on for a bit longer. They took the pavers out of here, made the path to go around where the trailer park is. People still still walk that way. Oh go up here. We'll check the spot here out. The old boat ramp. Hey! You guys seen me come out here a few times with with the mate Mike. Uh. Oh, the pussy man's over there. And there's the old boat ramp. So people have been hanging out for a fish around here. There's been a lot of people been real full tide. It's quite big today because uh we have had a full moon, I think about two or three days ago, so that tide's quite full. It's going that high up. And by the look of those boats over there, all those boats moored out there, taken in to count of the wind, I think the tide's pretty much full and about to go on the turn. And the boat on cue heard me. Yeah. So this is the Fakatani Heads. So there'd be heaps of people out there. Around here that love fishing. They can't get out. Get out for a fish. People will be spewing. But... There it is. We shall carry on. The police have driven past. Real good here on the old bike. Let's have a look up here. Well, I'll tell you, even if boats could go out today, I'd say they wouldn't be going out because it's pretty windy out there and it's quite choppy. Of 
quite windy, so it'd be good to see how this microphone works out in this wind. Do I have to delete this footage, or can I keep it? Right, we're going to go up over here, and on this mound up here. <coughs> no break. Yep, no one at the heads, look. The block of the car park, you can't drive down here anymore. But over here, straight in front of us, is uh, Coastlands or Pretty Pie Beach. I've done a lot of walks from here, from over there, where the houses I can't see them. But I walk on the beach here heaps of times to get over here to where the statue is there. I tell you though, it's really awesome to see the amount of push bikes out on the road. So good for the environment. Oh, somebody asked there, look. Right, we won't go on the road, we're going to go back through the old car park. Say goodbye to the boat ramp. The tide's going out. And we'll just cruise around here. Might even show you the uh, Harbour Master's boat. Here we have here. That's the Harbour Master's boat. Look at that beast. Extreme boat. Extreme are built here in Fakatani or just out of Fakatani's boats. Extremes. But look at those motors on there. Two Yamaha four strokes. I think. What are they? 200s. Look at that. Woohoo, a couple of beast motors on there. Two four stroke, 200 Yamaha. Variable camshaft timing. Sounds pretty cool. So, it'll be pretty quiet, that guy. Over here we have one of those fishing boats. They go out there and slay the fish for for those who can't get out and catch your own fish. Gibbos. Before I go, I forgot to film these guys here. That's the White Island boats. One, two, three. We've got three boats that were taking people to White Island. But man, it is windy, so Hopefully this microphone works well. It's tailwind. It's headwind all the way back, I think. All right. Ah, the grind. Under the bridge. Yep, see the tide's just going out. And rather than going straight ahead, we're going to go this way. We've got this road here. Let's go past the rowing club. We've had some good rowers come out of uh, Fakatani the last few years. Not lately, but we've had some uh, Olympian rowers. 
we had a guy who lived opposite us, house I grew up in, and he was a gold medalist in the 1976 Olympic Games in the Rowing Nate. Rebo Veldman was his name, and he lived opposite us when I was a kid. A little bit of a hero around the town. Right, be careful here. We'll turn the corner here and then we'll go on the road. It's actually, it's actually safer on the footpath than on the road. My cousin's house on the right here. Hey guys! We're now into James Street. <coughs> right, I'll sign off here and then we'll get back to you. Just up here on the left, we're going to turn left. So I'll get back to you guys when we turn down that road. Horrocks Avenue. Right, so this is the street that I grew up in. The house that I was born in. Riverside Drive. So this was my play area as a kid. And just up here on the left here, double there's a red brick house. Now that's the house I grew up in. raised in until I was 13. Just on the left up here is a, another red house that my father's brother built. And they live here. Watch this house coming up now. Nicely, isn't it? Enjoying the nice sunshine. That's my deal. Yeah. Let's push over here. Oops, there's some peas have sprung up there. See a bunch of those peas. We've got the old silver beet. Oh, sorry, this is a uh, spinach. Some snow peas here at the back. So we had our first pick from this yesterday. Of spinach. Not yesterday, the other day. A barrel full of water. It's from last night. A bit of rain. So this is the old spinach. We had a nice little feed from that. And there's our Silver beet growing nicely. There's some more snow peas on the other side. Right, here's I some cauliflower or broccoli flower. Look at that. Looking pretty good. Drawing that nice bit of fertilizer in the ground there and the nice warmth. A bit of rain. So that's yeah, that's our broccoli flower. And 
Here's our leg screw nicely there. Put some snow peas in here the other day. Uh, more snow peas here. I'll put put more snow peas over here. So look at my my mulch. So good. Oh, the oxalis seed. Look. Uh, here's our rocco flower. Some more there. Look at that man, it's grown so well. Um, my four pumpkins. Just about ready to harvest. Not quite looked, it was nearly ready, look, see. It stems browning off. Quite nice. It was the first one that grew on this plant, so uh, that one's not quite ready. These little ones, which are a good size to eat actually, these are good, um, good size ones, the last two. Right, there's some more dill and heaps of oxalis, see, you can see the dill amongst there. Put two and a half packets down and a lot of them didn't germinate. There's still a few there but... We can't go and get some more from Bunnings because it's just closed. Yeah, pretty cool, eh? Cool so far. So we had a bit of rain last night and a lot of wind, so the ground's nice and nice and wet, and the sun's out now and it's really warm. Right, we'll carry on with the garden. Jalapenos. I gave some away the other day to a mate of mine. Mm, spring onions, I'm picking a few of those. Some more spring onions there. Um, this is my cabbages. And they're looking good too. Look at that. The cabbages and these are the cauliflowers that I planted the other day. They're a bit, looking a bit sick, so this is where I had the potatoes. I dug the potatoes out and put the, the broccoli in here. It looks like in about three days, four days, they've really sprung up. Mm, had a couple of snails get through that netting. That's why, because there's a hole there. There's all the mint. Is there a hole there? Oh, there is too. It's that bloody cat. And that, my friends, is. Um... Oh, yeah, there's Basil there. Basil there for you, Mario. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Do some video and some editing, and like a roll, I suppose. Friends, is another day nearly over. Just having some loin chops and some sausages. 